Mac me. You're feeling a little lunchbox fatigue. It's been several weeks since the start of school, and you know what? Your kids may be just over the sandwich. Please welcome the Sweet Potato Chronicles, Laura Keough, Carrie Marsh, to show us some recipes that are going to take us all the way to, to the holidays. Yeah, you know right? what? We're, we're over the sandwich, right? So we're like right. halfway through the semester. I don't know about you, but if I have to make another sandwich, yeah. I'm going to have a cry. Well, it's not even, it's I not might even have already just had us. A cry. It's our kids, too. Yeah, like, yes. They're sort of like, so this is it, eh? And uh, some more soy, uh, peanut thanks. butter, and jam. Thanks. And they tell us they're tired of it by bringing it back home at the end of the day. Yes. So what we wanted to do today was kind of give you some great ideas to get yeah. us through the rest of the year, and then we can... Go on winter break. That's right. <laughs> all the presents. So this is all from uh, some of these recipes are from How to yes. Feed a Family, your newest book. Yes, so congratulations you. to you. Thank that you is so absolutely much. awesome. Great family friendly recipes. We're gonna start with We're gonna start, start with, with the mini quiche. With mini quiche, which save my life all the time because my daughter does not like sandwiches. Okay. The great thing about this, if you're suffering from um, lunch packing fatigue is that this is a batch cooking recipe yeah. so on a Sunday or you know whenever during the week that you've got some time you can spend an hour yeah and then you're not spending the half hour every time nice. putting together a sandwich right. so quiche are a great um, recipe for batch cooking because they can go in the freezer and then you just grab whatever you need every night and they're portion by portion which is perfect yeah, exactly. so what did you just put in there so in this one obviously freestyle it to your family's you know taste but yeah. I've got peppers a little ham a little cheese a little green onion yeah. but you do what your kids will eat because it's all about survival right for sure and so and this was Esme's like go-to all last year right yes Didn't she you? suddenly turned on it so now I'm scrambling to come up with some new things but I'm hopefully saving okay, someone else. Just read your book. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so funny how they do that though. At oh, yeah. one minute they love it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, I don't want quiche. Well, we're like that. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? quiche in my lunch. I am like that. I, I totally do I that. I can eat the same thing for a really long time and then I never want to see it yeah. again for yeah. a really long time. So batch cooking is just a great way in general to save your soul. You can do some baking so that you've got snacks for the lunch box or for after school. Breakfast cookies so you've got something yes. in the morning yeah. too to put in their hand and throw them in the car. That's right. Right. So all I'm going to do is put them in these little oh, no, these little right. pre-made shells. Uh -huh. I'm going to pour the egg mixture over, and I'm going to pop them in the, a 375 onion uh, onion. <laughs> put them in the onion. Oven. The onion. <laughs> for 15 minutes, and you're done for the week. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and Super you've simple. got the pre-done little uh, shells, shells, right? right? I'm not making pastry. No. <laughs> We're, so we're yeah, not today trying to kill we're ourselves not. here. And then Laura's got some nice cozy recipes because it is kind of chilly all of a well, sudden. Well, the weather's turned on us now, right? For sure. And so this is why th we're going to break up with sandwiches now, totally. And I've got here um, a white bean and turkey with Ooh. barley chili. And you, it you looks know like what? there's curry in there, isn't there? There is. Oh, that yeah. looks great. Oh, man. And what, what you can do is make this, like like Carrie said, you could either do this for dinner one night and then you've got lunch the next day. You can yeah. even double this up so you've got lunch for a couple days. Yes. And Or it could be batch cooked. And, yeah. you know, you just warm it in the morning, fill, fill your little container, uh -huh. your thermos. And if, you know, we like these um, Crocodile Creek thermoses because they really do stay warm. These are really cute. I went out looking for thermoses when I realized the lunch was coming back yeah. fully not eaten. Yeah. Yes. And um, I had a hard time finding a good one that was going to hold the heat. So where do you get these ones from? You you can get these online or They're in online. a lot of like Crocodile Creek. Crocodile Creek yeah. is okay. a great brand. The thermos is a great brand. Yes. Yeah. So I think Very nice. I, because I think the tools, you know, the like the you know the, the tools great tow box, the thermos, those are as important as sort of lunch time survival as what you're making, right? right? Because if it comes to school cold or if everything's all messed up, kids don't want to eat it. So yeah. I think a great bento box, a great thermos, really good investment. Can you pass me that bento box? Because yes. here's the other thing that snacky. we all need hungry. to remember. It does, yeah, because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a sandwich or a soup. You can give no. them vegetables no. and crackers. Well, and then I love this and there's one. There's nothing wrong this with that. This one is from Pottery Barn Kids. It's That's my so favorite. That's so cute, by the way. Look at and, this. And these right are great because they can eat this on the go. Because oh, this no. is all finger food that they can just eat. That's right. right? And we're always so saying get those veggies in however you need to do it. That yeah. looks very appetizing. You know, so they can, which is what 
we all know. We don't necessarily know what happens in that cafeteria, God. <laughs> uh, like, but I you know it's know. hectic in there, and you yeah. know if you they make can it just easy. grab, they're more likely to eat it. That's and then right. What you're stirring here is our mushroom cheddar chowder. This is one of my favorite so meals. So good. And it's mush pureed mushrooms. So mm -hmm. I love it because it's a way for me to get mushrooms into my daughter, which are super healthy. They're Absolutely. packed with selenium that helps with immune support. Mm -hmm. It's got vitamin D. I need immune support this right now because if kids are coming home with all they're kinds all sick. of they're all it's sick. It's naughty. Scarlett just got over strep throat, oh, so I'm like packing the mushroom nice. soup on her. But you yeah. can put that into another a thermos. Top of I the even put cheese. it with like a little sprinkling of cheddar cheese. Oh nice. And it stays Delicious. nice and toasty warm. Yeah. And it's a good way to get a good lunch into them, right? Very nice. So we'll okay. Just break up with a sandwich. Break That's up. It's time for a clean break. Go to our on. website, CityLine.ca <laughs> for these great recipes. Thank you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the